Situated in the middle of Northside neighborhood, Forest Park Elementary has been at the heart of our community for nearly a hundred years. For generations, our outdoor playground has provided a safe place to play, learn, and meet friends both during school and for neighbors outside of the school day. But our playground is in need of love. Our current equipment is old, inaccessible to children with disabilities, and too small for our student count. Our asphalt play area covers half a city block in mostly gray space, and we want it to become more. The Forest Park PTA has used our limited resources to make small improvements over the past six years. We have always loved sharing the fruits of our labor with our community. Now's the time to take it to the next level, and we need you. Right now we're noticing that it's kind of crowded and our friends are getting hurt like running into each other um, and we just kind of would like to give them some more space to play. Uh, really it's just not accessible um, for a lot of my students. Sometimes my students will have braces on their ankles, um, they have low muscle tone, they have a lot of sensory needs, so really it just does not meet their needs. You know, because I think this one over here, I think it's been here for decades, and it might get rusty, and somebody might fall off and break some of things. There's not much playground for you. Um, because we've had that playground for years, and it starts to get boring. If two playgrounds will really let students, like, go around more. Forest Park's inclusive playground project will add a second play structure, introducing new ways to play like movement, tactile, balance, and more, and focus on equipment that allows all students to play together in a safe and fun space. So we think having a new playground will give them more choices, um, maybe a bigger area to play on a playground, and hopefully just keep our kids safer. It would be amazing. They would have um, equal opportunity to kind of play with, again, their typical adult peers. They have, again, a lot of sensory needs, and once we can meet their needs that way, um, they'll do better in the classroom. And it's going to be this spinny thing that's going to uh, promenade park. And you decided to bail and have fun. Um, for a lot of the moving stuff on um, the playground and new slides. And a new playground would be good because it will help students explore more. Forest Park is in a neighborhood that cares about its public spaces. People across the city know our area for its beauty. From the Rose Gardens to the boulevards, to the historic buildings like Forest Park Elementary. Keeping these areas beautiful takes commitment and community support. In addition to serving our students, our playground has always and will continue to be available to the surrounding neighborhood. Our fenced-in playground is always unlocked and has signs on all sides displaying the hours the playground is open for anyone. The Forest Park playground is rarely empty. On any given day, you may find neighborhood children and adults playing basketball or gaga ball, climbing the play equipment, training their new puppy, or even learning to ride a bike. A key component of our project fundraising is inviting our neighbors to join us because we know this is also your space. Well, I think the Forest Park Playground benefits the neighborhood because people are using this equipment and this space a lot of the time when school's not in session. I bring my family here sometimes, and if we're not here, we can still hear balls bouncing. I see parents and kids practicing baseball, um, kickball games, and kids from the neighborhood just kind of coming and mixing and finding each other and playing. I think it's a pretty special thing to have a school and a school playground planted right in the middle of the neighborhood. Forest Park's playground really is a community space, and we need the help of our neighbors to make this dream a reality. You can help by donating and spreading the word to your friends. If we raise $30,000 by November 23rd, the Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority's Creating Places program will provide a matching $30,000 grant to fully realize our plan, but we need your support. By donating, your dollars will double, 
but only if we meet our goal by November 23rd. Will you help us make this dream become reality? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.